Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Draws Arsenal. Today is going to be another MRE review. I think you guys uh, really enjoyed the, the last one, so I uh, <laughs> pulled another one out of my box. You can order a box from Amazon for pretty cheap, and uh, it comes with several different menus, about 12 different ones. But anyway, this is menu number two, and it is going to be chicken fajita, or as it is sometimes officially known in the army as chicken vagina. Um, so this one came from uh, Sapaco Incorporated from Mullins, South Carolina, and it's got a date of forever, probably. Um, you know, I've never really even cared about the date on here, so it's kind of a new one on me. Um, 3171, it's definitely not 1971, that's for sure. That is interesting. I actually don't see a date on here. Perhaps it's on the inside. Yeah, I don't see one at all. Um, and I'm not sure what the 3171 is. That's probably just a run number. Um, yeah, I don't know. Unless that's March 17, uh, first date. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to open it up. Let's see what's inside. Remember that your MRE bag can also act as a uh, <coughs> garbage bag so you can please yourself up after every use. Um, so each each time, um, sorry, my last time uh, I didn't really go through everything. Uh, I kind of gave you the soldier's expedited version of it. So this one I'm going to kind of walk through more of it. So this is your uh, tortillas for your chicken fajitas. This is your flameless heater, and I'll show you how to do that. Thank goodness we have plenty of rocks around here to light up on. And uh, this is like your little accessory packet. You've got uh, gum, your uh, drink mix, which I brought a bottle of water for it, your salt, um, toilet paper, which comes in very handy, and your uh, little moist towelette. The all essential MRE spoon cheese spread with jalapeno or jalapeno uh, in it. Irish cream, uh, cappuccino instant powder. I will mix this up for you guys, but honestly, I do not like them. Uh, smoked almonds. I'd definitely be eating the crap out of those. And my all-time favorite, the fudge brownie. Good stuff right there. Box of chicken fajita, or your chicken vagina. Um, calories is a 210. And what is this little guy? Refried beans. Oh, the wife's going to love that one. Alright, so let's get started. Um, as I said in my previous video, I myself uh, do not typically use the smokeless heater. But for the purpose of uh, YouTube and, and you guys, we are going to do it water, chicken the heater right here. Stick it down there like so. And uh, you don't overfill. If you do overfill, it's going to mess it up. down. Um, if you want, you can put it in the box. kind of helps it, but yeah, it's kind of iffy, you know. I'll just put that right there. Line it up on a rock or something. And, uh, daggone, they didn't give me any crackers. I cannot believe that. So anyway, um, here's the smoked almonds. It's actually real almonds. And, uh, tastes like a bacon almond, quite honestly. I mean, I don't think I've even eaten these. In all seven years, I don't think I've ever ate a smoked almond. How about that? Cheese bread with jalapeno. It's a little too hot for me. Um, but a good way to start kneading it. 
with your hand and it works out pretty well. I'm go ahead and mix up my drink packet. Damn it. Alright, so this one is the uh, raspberry. Raspberry is a good one. I do like the raspberry. Um, like I said, typically you don't want to mix these in your canteen because it's going to stain it. Um, you know, make it all sticky, nasty, and when you go to turn it back into CIF, you're going to hate life. It also produces a lot of mold inside the canteen. Um, I guess this would be a good way to fake injury because this looks just like blood. Boy, is it good. Well, it's good when all you have is water, so I will say that. That's pretty good. And I have some good uh, carbohydrate uh, beverage powders. It's usually pretty good. And, uh, okay, it's still heating up. I'm going to show you guys the really nasty instant cappuccino <clears throat> it comes in a powder form just like that and it's got a zipper uh, a zipper case I guess is what you'd call it and uh, a packet sorry can't think this morning and so it's got a fill line right here it smells just like hot cocoa Like one of the worst things that you could have on like a hot day. They're just kind of like curdles in your stomach. But I've seen people do it before. So just kind of shake it up. But I hope I gave you guys an interesting perspective on MREs. Um, I've seen several different YouTube videos, um, but nobody's really done it out in the field like this before. And uh, <clears throat> hope you guys kind of enjoy it. Uh, and I also try to give a soldier's perspective on it. You know, what's good and what's bad. Uh, see how it's just kind of like crummy and stuff? Uh, it's just... I don't know. It's, it's not my favorite. <laughs> I'm going to be quite honest with you. So, anyway, just wanted to show you guys that little demo. And I'm going to have some more of these almonds. Break out the tortillas here. Put this back in the garbage can. All right, uh, just small little tortillas um, that are very flimsy and they. These things are so hard to to work with sometimes. Um, all right, this should be really warm. Oh yeah, 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 that's warm. Just kind of spread it around. Make sure all the heat's distributed. Sometimes I use the toilet paper to wipe it down because it gets pretty nasty. It's all, it's like this black film over it from the uh, compound, the heating compound. <coughs> so, alright, guys. I'm gonna have some chicken fajitas. Open up the packet. Sometimes there are, sometimes there aren't. Okay, this is actually really good. Um, this is not my favorite menu, 
but it is it is one of my favorites you know it's up, it's up there one of the better ones that you can have mm, so good Nope, 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 nope. Uh-uh. Stay on there. It's good stuff. Like I said, it won't stay rolled up, but you just gotta do what you get what you can. Um, they give you a little bit of seasoning salt, six grams of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that in the chicken fajitas. Oh wow, oh, man, that stuff's potent. Oh, wow. Yeah. That adds a huge, huge amount of taste to it. Alright. Saving the best for last. The fudge brownie. Refried beans. Stick him on our little heater. You munching on this guy. You know, that's the first time I ever added that seasoning salt. And all the time that I've had MREs, I've never really added it. Um, and it makes it pretty good, even better. So, you guys kind of taught me something to try what I've never tried before. Usually, I just plow through an MRE. The refried beans really are not that bad. Like I said, um, you will you will definitely be spending some time uh, smoking your buddies out. So be prepared on that. Just typical, you know, refried beans all mashed up for the most part. Oh yeah. These are good beans. Very good. That's what I'm saying. Like, MREs really are not that bad. I really don't. I guess because everybody thinks, you know, they have this connotation that an MRE is supposed to be disgusting and whatnot, but quite honestly, it is not that bad. Especially, you know, if that's the only thing you have, but. Stick those right there. Save them for later. Alright. And now. For the best part of the MRE, the fudge brownie. This is 370 calories, 30 grams of sugar, yeah, 140 milligrams of sodium. This is my favorite part of the MRE, and I will fight and trade to get one. So good. All right, guys. Oh, the only thing I didn't eat is the chiclets and. Uh, Unlike popular beliefs, no, they will not stop you up. No, they won't make you go to the bathroom. It's just gum that lasts for about five seconds, and, and then it's done. Um, but anyway, little chiclets. I think these have probably been in MRE or rations for, gosh, probably since the 40s, I'd say. Um, and then somebody asked me about uh, matches. Um, I would say that probably every other MRE that you get is going to have matches in it. It's still a staple of the MRE. Um, <clears throat> It's just kind of weird that this one and the one previous did not have them, but uh, I don't think it depends on the menu. I just think it depends on, you know, the packaging or whatever. But uh, 
anyway guys that is the chicken fajita MRE um, I'm gonna finish this up here and hike on back down the mountain but uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and if there's anything else I can do for you guys uh, let me know I've definitely got the French one coming in uh, next week and I'm pretty excited for that still on the hunt for a Russian one uh, I thought I had it but for some reason I can't ship from Russia um, but anyway I've got that I got a Lithuanian and I've got a Chinese coming in and uh, like I said you know I ordered a box of these from uh, Amazon and uh, so I've got plenty plenty of the US military MREs and uh, I'll be doing plenty of reviews on them but uh, stay tuned for next week's episode not sure which one I'll pick probably the French one but uh, pretty excited for that pretty excited so thanks guys I appreciate it and appreciate all the subscribers and uh, appreciate y'all watching see y'all later